How to measure a Euro cylinder. These days, Euro cylinders are available in a wide range of sizes and types. Understanding which one you need to buy is easy once you know how to take the correct measurements. There are three measurements needed when it comes to Euro cylinders, and using this standard Euro double cylinder as an example, we can show you how to find all three. The first measurement is called the external size to center, known as dimension A. As you can see, we're measuring from the left hand edge to the screw hole in the center of the cylinder. The next measurement is the internal size to center, known as dimension B. This is from the screw hole out to the right hand edge. Finally, measure the cylinder as a whole. This is known as dimension C, the overall length. As you can see, our cylinder measurements in millimeters are A30, B30 and C60. As both the internal and external measurements are the same, this is known as an equal cylinder. If the measurements had been different, it would be known as an offset cylinder. This example is an anti-snap Euro cylinder with thumb turn. The line you see on the left is the anti-snap line, and this offers an extra level of security for your lock. In this case, we only measure the cylinder and not the thumb turn. And remember, the anti-snap line always needs to be on the external side, the left side, dimension A. The thumb turn should be on the inside of the door. The measurements here are A35, B35 and C70. Our next example is an offset anti-snap Euro double cylinder. Offset cylinders like this are most commonly used with UPVC doors. The measurements in this case will be A55, B35 and C90. Our final example is also an offset anti-snap Euro double cylinder, but this time there are two anti-snap lines, so either side can be used on the external end. Here the measurements you need are A35, B55 and C90. If you're simply replacing a cylinder, it's a good idea to measure the existing cylinder as this will tell you exactly what size replacement to buy. If you're measuring for a new door, however, do remember to take into account the width of any door furniture, such as handles or escutcheons, also known as keyhole covers. Always measure with furniture in place. To purchase any of the materials seen here or for more how-to videos, visit safe.co.uk. Thanks for watching.